Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1009. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1008 to 1009, click on the link below the video. Wow, we have a wild array formula video here. Here's the deal. We have a three-way lookup. But check this out. When we look up Raja in this table, the code in this table, and the denominator number in this table, we're actually going to be, in each case, returning a four-way array. So for this, if I'm in this cell right here, this 2 says go find Raja, but not the uh, first four, the second four here. So we look up all four of those. Actually, we could simulate our formula right here, the end result. We'll use some product because we're going to multiply one, two, three arrays. The difficult part in this video is that we're going to, for each one of these arrays before we multiply them, we're actually going to be looking up the array. But let's just do it manually here. Oh, so I have that array I need to look up, comma, times. Well, the second table, we want to find code PL7. So we take that whole. Notice we're looking up and returning a 1 by 4, 1 row by 4. This is a 1 row by 4 also, comma. And then the final lookup, we're actually going to need to divide. So I'm going to do 1 divided by, and then we're going to have to look up it from the denominator table, the fourth record, and boom, that is what our calculation is going to need to look, look like. Multiply, multiply, uh, multiply by this inverse. That's the answer we're after. Are you kidding me? How in the world are we going to do that? Well, we, and I'm going to put this right here just as a reminder. Well, we have in other videos, or other videos I've done, we have the ability to look up a code and return a whole row using index and match, because index can return uh, uh, an entire row or an entire column. The trick over here is going to be, what are we going to do here? And there's a few ways we could do this. We could use offset. We could use indirect and define names. I'm going to use VLOOKUP. So right now in this cell, I'm just going to see if there's a way I can look up Raja and get the second four items here. So I'm going to use VLOOKUP. Now the lookup uh, value is going to be this Raja. Eventually, when I get this formula, I'm, need, I'm going to need to copy it over and this direction and be locked on Raja. But when I copy it down, it needs to move to Chin. So I'm going to lock this with the F4 key. One, two, three. I lock the column reference, but not the row, comma. Table, the first column has the names, and then all these subsequent columns have the values we want to uh, return, F4 to lock in all directions. And here's the trick. We're actually, this column index is expecting a single value. We're going to give it an array of values. Well, right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We need 6, 7, 8, 9. So in curly brackets, which is array syntax, I'm going to say 6. And comma in array syntax means go over a column. 7, 8, 9, close curly bracket. What, what this, this is called an array constant. And this array constant is a fun, uh, is part of our function argument array operation. I'm giving it 1, 2, 3, 4 values. That's instructing the VLOOKUP to then return 4 values. All right, you ready? And comma, these are not sorted, so we have to do exact match with a 0. Now, if I hit Enter, I'm not going to, I'm going to show just the first item. But while I'm in edit mode, I can highlight an F9, and no way. The VLOOKUP does have the ability to return four values, right? Control Z. So what are we going to do about this? Because sometimes when we're over in this cell, I need not 6, 7, 8, 9. I need 2, 3, 4, 5. And then when we get over, the VLOOKUP gets over to the third column, I'm going to need 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, there's a few ways we could do this. I'm going to use choose. Choose is a lookup function that allows us to look up different items actually embedded in the choose function. So watch this, choose. And the index number is going to be convenient here, because we happen to have 1, 2, 3. That means this four, the first four chunks here, the second four chunks, the third four chunks. Actually, it's not chunks. It's going to be these uh, arrays. So watch this. For index, I'm going to click on that. Now, when I copy this formula down, I need it locked on the 2. But when I move it this way, it needs to move to the 3 or this way to the 1. So I'm going to lock that with my F4 key, 1, 2, lock the row, but not the column. And then comma. What's great about choose, it's, it's the only lookup function that can look up 
cells, ranges, arrays, formulas, functions. So I'm just going to have four, uh, three different uh, array constants. So the first one will be 2, 3, 4, 5, n curly bracket. Now notice that first lookup value is value 1, comma. Value 2 is going to be that, comma. And then value 3 will be our third array constant, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oops. And then closed curly bracket. So comma means go over a column. If we were using rows, we'd use semicolons. All right, so then after value 3, I close that off. And you've got to be kidding. Right now, if I highlight the choose, actually I can just click there and hit the F9 key to evaluate. You can see, sure enough, it's getting 6, 7, 8, 9. Control Z. Now I'm going to enter this. It's not going to show me anything significant. But I'm going to copy this over both directions just to see if the choose is working, right? So I come here. Notice it's looking at the 1. So it should be picking the 2, 3, 4 array constant when I hit F9. Absolutely. I'm going to click Escape. And I'm going to come over here and do that same thing. Click on there. F9. And no way. It was looking at the 3. And it returns properly the array constant 10, 11, 12, 13. Escape. Now let's just see if I V look up and uh, put this in edit mode. Highlight F9. No way. One, two, three. It is totally working. I'm going to click Escape because I don't want to hard code that in. So get, get this. That's just one of the array. That's just the first uh, four items, one row by four column array. Now I'm going to put this inside of some product. So that would be array one comma. Array 2, well, guess what? There's an easy way to use index and match to look up an entire row or column. We're going to look up an entire row. So in this second array argument over here, I'm going to type index. All right. So there's the index is ask, asking for the two-way array. I'm going to highlight that whole thing, F4, comma, match. Match me. Well, we're going to have to look up this code right now. First off, when I copy this way, I need it locked. But when I move down, it needs to move to the next code. So I lock this one using the F4 key one, two, three times. Column reference locked, but not the row, comma. Where am I looking this up? The row headers, F4. These are not sorted, so I'm going to do comma zero, close parentheses. So that match is going to deliver the row number, which right now will be 2, comma. This is a two-way lookup. That column number, if I want all the columns, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the columns, I either leave this argument empty or I put a 0. I'm going to leave it empty, close parentheses. Now, just for kicks, let's highlight this index by clicking the Array 2 argument there in F9. And sure enough, no way. It's looking up the, uh, the right row for code PL7. Control Z. Now, comma, oh, array 3. Well, it's the same thing. Index, except for our array right there, the array right there, the two-way array, F4 to lock it in all direction, comma, the row number, relative position, right? We're going to look up, boop. And lock at 1, 2, 3. Lock the column, but not the row, comma. We're looking it up, 1, 2, 3, 4. F4, these happen to be sorted. The default is approximate match, so I can leave that out and it will work. Close parentheses. That row number tells it the row number 1, 2, 3, 4. We need all the columns. So comma, you can either put a 0 or leave it empty. Close parentheses. All right, now let's highlight this in F9. 5555, five, five, five. it's looking up the correct one, Control Z. Wow, so that is a big, huge, amazing uh, format. There's one um, a close parenthesis on the sum product, but I did forget that the last array, and I could backspace and have array 2 be uh, just that first array divided by the second, comma, or I could just take the inverse, 1 divided by that array. All right, So that's how I'm going to choose to do that. Hopefully, I got all the cell references right. Now, somehow, I'm going to have to copy it down and over. I did it in the middle just to help 
to illustrate why we're figuring it out. All right, so we go like that. And you've got to be kidding me. Uh, we can test one of these. So it looks, I'm looking at all the cell references there. It looks like we're, it's working. So if I come down here and go equal sum product, well, this would be um, Sheila in the third column. So it would be Sheila, comma, array 2 would be WQ1, comma, and the third array would be 1 divided by, and it looks like denominator 2. I got my fingers crossed. And sure enough, that is working. Now, there's one other way uh, that I could think of doing this. And I probably like this way because I actually there's a bunch of other ways we could do this. But one other interesting option right there, I kind of like using choose. And if you get my uh, upcoming array formula book, Control Shift Enter Mastering Excel Array Formulas, it's coming out in July 2013. I have a few formulas that use choose to look up array constants. In fact, one of them's right on the cover of uh, the book. And in the DVD, uh, it's video 24 where I show you this. And I kind of like that. And the reason why is it's just doing a straight lookup. It just says look up this number and then choose one. But you know what? We could do this a slightly different way just for kicks, right? I'm going to come over here. I'll do it right here, Control V. And I'm going to highlight that and delete. And I'm just going to hard code in 2, comma 3, comma 4, comma 4. And what's the difference? It's 2, 3, 4, and then 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10, 11, 12. So to jump from 2, that's the first item in the first array constant. The next array would have 6. That's adding 4. So I could simply do something like plus, and this is an array operation inside this uh, argument here. And then in parentheses, the column header, and I'm going to lock it row, but not the column, minus 1, because 2 minus 1 would give me uh, 1 times 4. Right? So let's just check this out right now. Oh, let's enter this. And then I'm going to come, if I can get inside of here, highlight this. And right now, this will be 1 times 4, and then the 4 will be added. So it will be 6, 7, 8, 9. If I hit F9, sure enough, that would work there, Control-Z. If I Control-Enter, copy it over 1. And right here. So in this column index, right now it's 1 minus 1 is 0 times 4. So it'll remain 2, 3, 4, 5 if I hit F9. Escape. And over here, if I highlight this, 3 minus 1 would be 2 times 4 is 8. So it's adding 8. So 2 plus 8 is 10. If I hit F9, boom, there we go. Now uh, if I copy this uh, down and over, we should get all the same numbers. Now watch this. This is going to be totally uh, uh, an, another improvement. If, in fact, the denominator had row headers for this table, 1, 2, 3, 4, notice those are actually the row numbers. So we could shorten this one little bit. If I come down, actually it is this argument. So in the sum product, boop, that array right there. Notice it's looking up a row here. Instead of using the match, so I know uh, I love these uh, screen tips to help me see where I am in the formula. I'm in the index right here. There's the match to so the row number. Instead of that whole thing, if there in fact are the row numbers, one, two, three, four, I could simply click on A3 in this case, hit, hit F4, 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 lock the column, but not the row. And then watch this. I've uh, highlighted the whole table. And I want to populate the whole table with this edited formula. And by the way, there's some array operations in here. But the arrays are being multiplied and then adding. Some product can handle that, those array operations without Control-Shift-Enter. So I can just simply Control-Enter. And there we go. Uh, a little bit shorter uh, for this last. Uh, row number in the index. All right, that was uh, quite a wild uh, three-way lookup where we're looking up three different arrays, multiply, multiply, and then divide. All right, see you next video.